Hi there, welcome back to Heather's Hippo Yoga. I am so excited to have you here today. Uh, today we're just going to do beginner yoga to get you ready for your day. All right, let's get that energy going, get yourself moving. So, begin by coming to a nice comfortable seat. Remembering you can sit on top of a pillow or a blanket to make it easier for you to sit in Sukhasana. It is after all called easy pose. So, sitting up nice and tall. Allow your hands to rest fully in your lap and your shoulders to completely relax down your spine. Close your eyes, soften your face, and bring your attention to your breath. Notice how it's feeling. Notice where you are breathing into. Is it shallow? Is it deep? And go ahead, start to rub the palms of your hands together. Let's create a little bit of energy, a little bit of heat. We're waking up those energy points in our hands and cup them over your eyes and inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Go ahead, start to massage out your face. We hold a lot of tension and tightness in our face, our facial muscles, especially in our brows. So really massage that area between the two brows. Also known as that third eye point, that third eye chakra in yoga. And move out to your temples, your cheekbones and your cheeks. Relax those muscles and then take the heels of your hands, draw them down your jaw. Oh, relax. We keep a lot of anger, stress, anxiety in our jaw. So try and release it down. Oh. Bring hands to heart center, pressing into the palms of the hands. Thumbs are connected to the sternum. And release the hands down. Excellent. Lean back, switch the cross of your legs, and start to Sufi grind. Leading with the chest, making circles with the torso. So I'm getting my shoulders involved, I'm getting my neck involved, my pelvis is rotating and tilting, just like I'm stirring up a pot of brownies, which I love brownies. Maybe I'll make some today. And next, you wanna connect the breath. As you circle forward, inhale through the nose. As you circle back, exhale. Forward, inhale. Back, exhale. Connect the breath to the movement. And then reverse directions. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. We're starting to stir up that energy that's kind of pooled at the base of our spine. We're waking it up, getting ourselves ready to attack this day. And slowly make the circle smaller, eventually coming to stillness. Excellent. All right, let's move on to tabletop, onto our hands and knees. You can always put a blanket underneath your knees if you need cushion. Okay, I like to use yoga paws to help keep my hands in place. Whatever you need to do to keep your hands from slipping, try it. So wrists are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. I want you to lead forward with your crown and send your tailbone back, almost like somebody stretching your spine. Press through those hands, engage those shoulders, and draw the navel in. Staying here for a moment, just breathe. Feel the wrists and the shoulders starting to work. Feel the stretch in the spine. And let's move in and out of our cat and cow. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and gaze. 
exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the back, chin to chest, cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and gaze. Exhale, tuck the tail, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Go ahead, find any extra movement that feels good for you. I like to do these around the world where I just make really big circles with my torso. So I'm really working my hips and my spine. And then I like to reverse directions. It looks a little funny, but boy, does it feel good. And then come back to a neutral spine. Maybe tuck your toes, sit your hips back, stretch those feet. Ooh, that feels nice. And you can flip your wrists over, give them a little stretch. Making sure you do both sides. Excellent. And coming back to that tabletop, spread those fingers out, make sure they're facing the front of the mat. Tuck those toes and send the tailbone up. Down dog. You wanna bend those knees so you can send the booty up. Press through the hands. You want to make space between your shoulders and your ears. So it's more important that your butt goes up than your heels touching the mat. Okay, we want to feel the stretch of the back leg. Almost like we're in, in an upside down V, but the weight is moving back. And you can start to bend one knee at a time. Call this walking the dog. <laughs> Just feel the stretch. And as always, if you need to take a break, you can just press into child's pose, which we're gonna do right now. So lower those knees to the mat, widen them, touch your toes together and sit back. Release the heart and head down to the mat. And your arms can reach out in front of you, or you can kind of bend your elbows like I do. I like to put most of my weight on my elbows. You can also bring your forehead to a block. Find what works for you. And if you widen your knees, you'll have more space for your belly, okay? More space to relax. Breathe here, close those eyes. Take a nice deep inhale in. Exhale, sigh. <sighs> Keep the breath flowing. And come back up to tabletop. Let's press back into downward dog once more. Tuck the toes, send those heels down and the tailbone up. Let the head relax and fall. And inhale, walk those feet up to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Keep a nice bend in the knees here. It's more important that your torso just kind of drape over like a rag doll. Right? We're not focusing on the stretch of the back leg yet. Just relax the neck. Relax the shoulder. If you need more space for your belly, you can widen your feet. And you can always bring your hands to your blocks. Go ahead, take your hands, walk them up your legs to come up to stand. And windshield wiper it out, or willow tree it out, rather. Just kind of sway in the breeze like a willow tree. Excellent. Okay, and we are going to come into mountain pose, Tadasana. So at the top of your mat, 
feet are rooted into the ground, all four corners. You're gonna tuck your tail, draw your navel in, widen the chest, palms face forward. And then we're going to squeeze our back through muscles and draw them in and up, our navel in, and slightly tuck our chin. We're fully engaged here in mountain pose or Tadasana. Breathe. I like to call this the don't bleep with me pose. I mean, you know what I mean. But don't mess with me, but don't with me pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Breathe nice and strong, fully engaged. And inhale the arms up. Exhale, dive down, hands to your props or the floor. Inhale to half lift. Hang out here for a moment. Hands can be on your shins or your knees. You want to reach the crown forward, reach the tailbone back, draw the navel in, press through those feet. You want to feel that engagement and the stretch of the back leg. Breathe here. Exhale, fold. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Hands are down. Inhale the arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, dive down. Hands to the floor or the props. Inhale, half lift. Flat back, reach the crown. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, bring those hands down, Tadasana. One more. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, Tadasana, bring those hands down. Excellent, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do a couple Surya Namaskar or sun salutations. And I'm gonna walk you through it. So don't stress out, it's all gravy. If you wanna watch the first time, you're welcome to, but then join me when you're ready. So, find that Tadasana again, that fully engaged, very powerful mountain pose. Now, inhale those arms up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Now inhale, step your feet back to plank. You can go one at a time. Reach the crown forward, reach the heels back, press through those hands, draw the navel in. Lower the knees to the floor, keep your elbows in, and lower your chest and chin. Now inhale onto your belly, and rise up to baby cobra. Press through the tops of the feet. Hands are next to the chest. Lead with the heart, draw the navel in, and exhale lower. Now come up to tabletop. Tuck your toes and press back into down dog. Take a couple breaths here. And inhale, walk those feet up to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, those arms up. And exhale, bring the hands down to Tadasana. And that's one full sun salute. Well done. Uh, so you probably noticed that the breath is connected with the movement. Very important, right? You inhale the arms up. You exhale as you dive down. You inhale as you half lift. You exhale as you dive down. It's intentional, okay? Let's do a couple more of those. I'll walk you through it. Take your time, there's no rush. And if you need to take a break, just go into child's pose. Totally cool. Find that Tadasana. Feet rooted into the floor. Palms front, nice and strong. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, dive down. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step back to plank. And exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. See my elbows are in. Inhale to baby cobra or full cobra if you're ready. And exhale, down dog. Make sure you go through tabletop. Press through those hands, release the neck. Take a breath here. And inhale, walk those feet up. Forward fold, bend those knees. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, Tadasana. Hands down. Last time. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the feet back to plank. Fully engaged. Exhale, lower the knees, chest and chin. Inhale to cobra or to baby cobra. Remember, baby cobra is lower. And exhale, moving through tabletop, back to down dog. Breathe here for a moment. Inhale, walk those feet up. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale those arms up. Exhale, Tadasana. Stay here, close your eyes, and just notice how you feel. Do you feel warmth? Any tingling sensations? Is your heart rate just a little bit faster? Just notice. And release. Shake out those legs. Shake out the shoulders and arms. All right, so we're keeping this short but sweet and efficient. Get you going for the day. Get you focused, energized, and stretched out. So, working on tree pose. Hands on your hips, fully rooted into your feet. And you're gonna to wanna to find a gaze. Find your drishti straight forward. Something that you can look at and focus on. Everything is standing up nice and tall. Navel is in, chest is wide. Imagine that someone's pulling your crown up. Now shift your weight over to the right. Pick up that left knee and just hang out here for a second. Feel the balance. Feel that bottom leg. If you feel that shaking, it means your stabilizing muscles are working. That's what we want. And go ahead, lower the foot down. Keep that gaze, keep that focus. Now let's shift to the other side. Weight over to the left, pick up that right knee. Feel the balance. Feel those muscles working. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And lower the foot down. All right, moving into tree pose. Shift your weight over to the right, pick up that left knee, use your hand to move it out to the side, and attach your foot to your leg, either below or above the knee joint, okay? You don't want to put it directly on the knee, because you'll put pressure on that joint. So above or below, everything zipped in and up, lift with the crown, Hands at heart center. Breathe here. Tree pose. And if you feel comfortable, extend your tree branches, lift your gaze, and lift the corners of your mouth. Hands, lower the foot, shake it out. Excellent, nice 
job. So you want to make sure everything's in and up. So tuck the tail, navel in, chest open, ground reaches up. Okay. Let's do the other side. So find your drishti, find that gaze. Shift over to the left. Okay, I've got that knee. Get out to the side. Attach the foot. Hands at heart center. your tree branches, lift your gaze, lift the corners of your mouth. And lower the hands, lower the foot. Shake it out. Nice job. Circle the wrists, open and close the fingers a couple times. Come to a nice wide leg stance. Heels are out, toes are in, hands are on the hips. And inhale forward to a flat back. So once again, reach the crown forward, reach the tailbone back, draw the navel in, press through those feet and feel the stretch of the back legs. And exhale, lower your hands to the floor. Let your torso hang here. You can bend your knees. And you can always put your hands on your blocks. The goal is to let your spine decompress. So you want to be able to let the torso just hang. Let the weight of the head pull your spine down. And keeping your hands on the floor, Gently lower yourself down into child's pose. So knees are wide, toes are touching. Release the heart and head and breathe. <sighs> Remembering you can always bring your head to a pillow or a block. And just notice if this child's pose feels different from the first. And if it doesn't, that's all right. And go ahead, gently shift forward onto your belly. You can move your boobs out of the way if you need to. Adjust your belly. And bring your hands down in front of your forehead. Let your forehead rest on your hands. Let your heels fall out, toes in, almost like your pigeon toed. And release your glute muscles. We're gonna breathe into our lower back. Okay, we wanna release the muscles in the lower back. Take a nice deep full breath. And if you'd like, bring an image of a balloon into your lower back. And as you inhale, it expands and gets bigger, creating more space. And as you exhale, it contracts and softens and releases. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, slowly roll over to lay down on your back. Take your time. Knees up, feet on the mat. Let the full weight of your shoulders rest on the earth and your lower back press into the floor. And just rest here for a moment. Feel your belly rise and fall with the breath. And 
draw the knees into the chest. Hands can be on top of your knees or behind your knees. You can also widen the knees if you need space for your belly. Then just rock your knees side to side. Massaging that lower back. Mine feels a little tender today, so I'm really relishing in this, right? It's that hurts so good feel. And then we're gonna move into Shavasana, corpse pose. So traditionally the legs are extended out, arms are down, flat on the floor, but this is so uncomfortable for me. This does not do it. So I like to put my blocks, oops, struggle bus. My blocks are pillows underneath my knees. Ah, so it kind of releases the tension on my lower back. I also sometimes like to put a pillow under my head or drape a blanket over me. Do whatever feels good for you. You want to fully be able to relax here in Shavasana. So just breathe. Get comfortable. Take a nice deep inhale in. Exhale, sigh. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Relax the face, the shoulders, the arms, hands, fingers. Relax the back, the glute muscles legs, ankles and toes, melt into the earth, let your body absorb all the wonderful exercises and breathing practices that you just worked on, let it absorb that energy. You're welcome to stay here in Shavasana for lo as long as you need. Rest here and know that there's nothing you need to do in this moment but Shavasana. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you join me again on the mat soon. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and free yoga content. Thank you so much. Namaste.